one, so I saw the 2019 live-action Aladdin. It proved me wrong on my doubts, so I actually enjoyed it. One big grip I was afraid of when I first saw the trailer was Will Smith because no one was going to replace Robin Williams for me. I gotta give Will Smith props because he brought something very fresh, something very different to the table. His own version of the genie was actually pretty interesting. He wasn't trying to be your typical Hollywood badass like we normally see him in, but he was very colorful and very wholesome. Mena Masoud? I sure hope I said his name right, but he did a really good job as Aladdin. Very humorous, very daring. Now, Princess Jasmine, who just so happened to be my childhood crush, uh, is played by Naomi Scott, who is very well known for the Power Rangers reboot as the Pink Ranger, and she did uh, an incredible job. She almost stole the show, and I love her new song, Speechless. I don't think that was ever in the original movie, but that was just amazing, as well as the, the whole New World song was done just right. And Disney does it again. There was a little bit of hip-hop, a little bit of remix to the original songs that we already know from the original movie, and that was pretty okay. All the brand new songs, definitely a nice touch. All the special and visual effects that were in the movie were just irresistible, including all the dance sequences and the genie's intro, just, ah, oh, so great. Now, did anyone spot the Disney castle being built in the background in the sand? Going back to the dance numbers, I kind of found it weird that some of the editing felt the dancing a little more fast forward. I mean, I get it when the genie is controlling everybody, but I mean, eh. And why didn't they give Jafar the original color scheme? I mean, red. Red was his signature. And it's even in the poster and he's wearing black throughout the entire movie. Very well thought out in detail with the costume design as well as the set design. Uh, just the way Disney and Guy Ritchie would. It is up there with the live-action Beauty and the Beast, anything over Cinderella.